What is going on, GSAC Society? It's your boy G-Dub, GSAC Warrior Three Ones, coming at you live on January 2nd, 2014. Um, shout out to Ben, who did his top six pickup of last year on my channel, right before this video. It's right underneath it, if you can see it. Um, I figured I'd do the same thing. I'm doing top five. He was supposed to do top five, but he couldn't make up his mind. So without further ado, your boy TCF Cap will show you the top five pickups of last year. Starting with number five. Um, I really don't even remember when I picked this up, but I know it was last year. It was 2013. Um, I think it was around April, May. I got it from Chavo. Um, obviously, everybody likes a clot. But um, it's a spot when it's a special edition of the piece and there's only 150 or 100 or 200, whatever, whatever a small number is. Um, so obviously, Suicide Clot, 6900 coming in at number five. Beautiful watch. Only thing difference between the original clot and the Suicide version is obviously the... Um, why is my phone focusing? Focus. Oh, there it is. Obviously, the only difference would be the black clasp. Regular clots come with the um, polished clasp, not the silver one, but like the matte looking. And of course, the acrylic case. Good touch. So that would be number five. Put that back there. Number four coming in and obviously I have videos of all these watches I have reviews so if you want to go check them out please go ahead and do that um have you seen number 11 out of 100 um everybody knows what this watch is I fell in love with this watch the minute I saw it this was limited to 150 production I mean produced so again also a plus to have rarities in your top five pickups of last year um your Anthony and Allison 6900 collab from the UK. Only 150 of these produced. Um, as you can see there, Anthony and Allison. Um, or is it 100? Only 100 of these produced. I'm sorry, I said 150. Only 100 of these produced. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I myself fell in love with it. This is right up their alley. And um, I love the creativity and the fact that they kept it um, unique to what they do so yeah this is number four again I have reviews of both of these this was a gift from my friend Jeremy in Texas so I'll forever be grateful for that thanks buddy um, let me leave them open so you guys know what they are that's number four number three of course Needs no introduction. Recent pickup at Soho. Eminem GDX 6900. This watch should be on everybody's top five because of its anticipation, its hype, and it's just an overall beautiful piece. Like, if you haven't seen this watch up close, you need to get up close and personal for it. Um, it did hit Macy's before Christmas, just in time, a couple days before, maybe the weekend before. So that was clutch of them. And, um, yeah, obviously, um, beautiful, beautiful watch. You have to see it up close and personal. I don't know what I'm talking about. This comes in at number three because although it is amazing and beautiful, some other watches just have a little more sentimental value. And I did not only just bring on the beauty, but, of course, sentimental value of the watches. So what's that clock? Obviously, just a beauty of a watch. The acrylic case probably made it enter the top five. If it weren't for the case, it probably it probably wouldn't have been just because of the fact that Suicide Clot probably wouldn't have made the top five. But because it adds value to both the watch and its sentiment, not wrong with that. Um, the Anthony and Allison was just because I fell in love with that watch and because it was a gift. Um, from the get-go, regardless, that watch would have been top five. But the fact that it was a gift makes it a little better. That was number three was the M&M. Number two. Um, this watch is just, I guess it you could tie in the fact a little bit that it does come in a set, 
for the baby G, but you guys do not understand how beautiful this watch is until you see it in person. This watch is just something else. This watch is just ridiculous. It just it gets no better than this. This is this is by far one of my favorite watches in my collection, just because it's it's beautiful. It's the combination of the white and the gold, um, the negative display with the gold digits. It's something else. So the pair set, um, thirtieth anniversary limited, um, J one ten set comes in at number two on G Dub's top pickups of. 2013 just because it's um just a beautiful watch beautiful beautiful watch um and of course last but not least number one this watch um if you guys follow me on instagram you would know i did recently a collaboration of the year for 2013 and i put 16 watches up for a day on collages and i made people vote on these four and then the winners of all four days Got on a head to head, and then I announced the winner on New Year's Eve. And this watch ended up being the winner. And for that reason, and because it hits home, obviously, I'm making the Tyco GA110 the my number one pickup of last year. Obviously, um, I know Tyco personally, he's a great guy. Um, it's good to see that, you know. Um, people like us do make it and do get what they want, but besides that, the watch is just amazingly beautiful. Again, something you have to see in person because the white hands do complement the white on the band perfectly. Um, you see the white hands and, um, the white writing. It's just, the design is so unique, it's so, so Tyco, so NYC, um, that is just, it. this hits home. It's rare, of course. It was only 100 of these. It was a celebration of Soho's 100. I mean, first year in existence. So that's always a plus. So G-Dub's top five. Run them through again. Give you guys a shot of the backlight and a shot in the dark. Um, Clot 6900 suicide version in at number five. Anthony and Allison, 6,900. Uh, let's see if I can get out of the case. Anthony and Allison, 6,900. Coming in at number four. Eminem, GDX, 6,900. Coming in at number three. None of these watches wants to get, want to get out of their case. Coming in at number three, the limited edition GA110 set. Coming in at number two. And then last but not least, the Tyco GA120 Soho one year anniversary. Coming in at number one. Um, if you guys want to let me know your top five, just go ahead and comment it down low. I'll probably opinionate on what I think about it. Um, that's it. On to a new year, new pickups, new Gs, new collabs, of course. We're all excited. Um, and um, got to keep working hard. Like I always say, don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Um, I'm working on a few watches. One should be on the way, but I still got people to pay off, so pickups got to go slow. Um, shout outs to the usual. Um, I'll see you guys. You'll see me around. You always do. You know about it. Special shout out to Danny and Corey. Corey, happy belated. Didn't say on the video. And guys, I'm out. Happy New Year.